Hi guys, my name is Rashawn Jackson and this is my wife, Dominica Jackson. And we just wanna share a little bit of our testimony with you. We are actually originally from San Diego. Grew up in church. Um, I got to a certain age of my life where um, I just kinda went another route. Um, and I got involved in, uh, you know, gangs and, and, uh, and drugs and, you know, that, that kind of lifestyle. And I lived it for years. I was actually uh, shot um, in an altercation and it kind of shifted my, my perspective and the lifestyle that I was living. Um, it actually didn't lead me to Christ immediately, but that was a, a shifting point in my life uh, in a whole different direction that I was unaware of. But uh, God definitely had a plan uh, for my life. In 2007, I met my beautiful wife, Dominica, uh, and you know we got together. Uh, we met actually at a, a party. Uh, you know we were actually had an unhealthy relationship. Um, you know, full of partying, drugs, fighting, uh, just, just, you know, just chaotic. Yeah. It was for me, um, facing things that had um, happened to me in childhood, facing fear, depression, anxiety, um, suicide, um, and just truly overcoming the abuse and uh, mental, physical, emotional, and the sexual abuse that I had, had encountered. Um, it finally came to a halt, and I had to face these things. We got to a certain point of our in our lives where, you know, we had to make a decision, um, and you know, the Holy Spirit just began to tug on us and uh, and draw us closer to God, um, and to the point where we decided to you know start looking for churches, um, and we found a church through a friend of hers, which led us uh, on this this path, this this, uh, this this Christian walk. During that time, it wasn't a complete transformation. It was actually a process that we had to go through. Um, and we got to the point where it's time for us, you know, to move on and, uh, and, and find another place. What I tried to do is, is try to find a place in my hometown in San Diego, but it you know, work. yeah, it didn't work. So the Lord had other plans. Uh, which led us actually ultimately to San Bernardino. Everything uh, for us to get to San Bernardino, he just allowed to uh, flow through, um, and which ultimately led us to the Way Church. He was still trying to live a lifestyle that he used to live prior to us being saved. So he actually began to backslide pretty hard, and it ultimately led to our family completely falling apart. God restored our family. Um, he brought us closer together uh, as we served. You know, our children were serving. Um, they love uh, the, the children's uh, ministry, the kids' world. They got involved in that. Um, our 12-year-old daughter, Trinity, uh, she started her own Power 12 group. Um, and then ultimately, I decided to uh, uh, submit uh, or enroll um, in the Leadership University which I just completed this year um, as a graduate. Yay. And uh, we just wanna thank The Way, um, thank Pastor Marco, Pastor Lisa, yes. the whole staff members, um, everyone who just you know kinda uh, played a role. In Leadership University, even though he went, it was like our whole family went because yeah. we went on this journey with him. And it was amazing and so beautiful to watch the transformation inside of him. And we just want to uh, thank the Lord Jesus Christ uh, for just, you know, keeping his hand over us, never leaving us or forsaking us. Um, and we just honor him and we thank him in every way. Hi, Way family. I'm Christine. And I'm Janet. And we're so happy that you're joining us today. Today we just finished watching a video of Rashawn and Dominica Jackson, who actually have experienced a life transformation. You know, Christina, I remember when they walked in um, and they were just in such a broken place. But the great thing about it was that they were open for God to disciple them yes. and heal them and deliver them. Yes, they actually went through our discipleship pro program that we have here at the church. Our first step is starting at The Way, and that's available for everyone that would like to sign up on our Wayworld Outreach app. But Dominic and Rashawn went mm -hmm. through discipleship classes. They, re they experienced life transformation. Yes. They actually learned the word, applied it to their lives. And not only that, right. they are are disciples of Jesus Christ that are making disciples of Jesus Christ. And that's our mission as a church, to make disciples of Jesus Christ that make disciples. And that's exactly what they're doing today. And they're just taking it to a whole nother right, level. Right. I mean, they are in the intercessory team. They're in the altar team. Right. They are helping with watch parties because they now have experienced God at another level and really want everyone else to be able to do that. And that's so yeah. powerful. And that's why it's so important for us to 
give. This moment right now of giving, yes, it's an act of worship, but it's a moment where you get to make an impact yes. in the lives of others. And none of this would happen. Discipleship right. wouldn't happen. Meeting the needs of our community wouldn't happen without your generosity and your giving. And there's actually a really great scripture that I love. It's uh, Proverbs 19, verse 17, that says that he who is generous and lends to the poor will receive a reward back from the Lord. And actually another translation says with interest, like we're not giving wow. for that purpose. That's right. But it's such a blessing to give and we will receive back from the Lord on what we give. I know. And there's three easy ways that you can do that. Uh, number one, you go to our Wayworld Outreach app and uh, very easy, just press give. It'll walk you through it. You can even do recurring giving through that, which means that now you'll be able to not even have to be concerned about when you do it, but you then can make sure that the tithes and offerings are getting to the house of God as quickly as That's possible. That's actually what we do. Um, what we do yeah. is re we have it set up with reoccurring giving with our base. And then the next thing that we do is every time we come into the house of the Lord, every time we get in the presence of God, we go open the app and we just give our offering on the app. So you can do it with reoccurring giving and also your offering. The second way that you can do it is actually through our page. That's the way.gives. If you just put that in any web browser, you can give through the way.gives. And then, of course, you can drop it off. Now you can say, where do I drop it off? Well, you have options. You can drop it off in the mailbox, right, so that it can come to our office. Or you can personally drop it off at our locations here at Hallmark or Arrowhead, Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. Right. And you know what? We love to see your faces. So if you want to stop on by and drop it off, please feel free. But Janet, why don't we just go ahead and speak a blessing over each and every person that is stepping out in faith today and giving. Father, we just thank you. We speak a blessing over every person today yes, that Lord. they are causing an impact in lives like Roshan and Dominica yes, and we God. thank you that you bless them today. Yes, so God. let's worship together and receive a blessing from God. Amen. 